Hi everyone. In our PRTG network monitor tool, it gives us a freedom to monitor your resources without IP address. You can say without IP address, you can communicate, you can monitor your servers, your VMs. Your VMs you can monitor, your Windows server, your Linux server you can monitor, even uh, your networking device as well. But for that we need to understand first how our environment is working. Okay, for Windows Server 20, 2022, I am going to demonstrate you that how you can set up your VM in that way when there is a issue with your IP address for example sometimes we use dynamic IP address and uh, we ha and even we we do have multiple IP address for our VMs which having multiple uh, network adapter so in that scenario what we can do we can use our Windows servers DNS name and we can monitor that uh, server in our environment okay so for this demonstration you can see my web server is totally down all the sensors are passed and ping is down okay so for this server i am going to my original server and show you few seconds or few things which is required okay as we have already configured our snmp settings so there is nothing major to change but what you need to uh, understand here you can see these are the ip address and if i do ping with hyphen a that is arp which help us to resolve our name okay and you can see here the host name dot dot com okay so as of now we just simply use this host name in our system in our prtg and it will help us to monitor our server if our dynamic ip address is keep changing as you can see let me show you my network setting and dot cpl if you see my network setting on server you will see that we i am having DHCP enabled okay I'm getting new IP address all right and you can see these are the leads obtained and leads expire so I, we will demonstrate this as well while releasing IP address and renewing IP address okay so let's go to the PRTG and add this name in our settings and see the results so as of now i'm just using my host name okay and you can see this is the only host name i have and let me save this and wait for a moment you will get all your vm uh, sensors up and running just wait for a few seconds or what you can do you just reload it and rest of your sensors you can just scan or or resume as you can see the data is here our prtg monitor is successfully able to ping the server and you can see rest all are in pause mode right let's go ahead and let me just go ahead any of these or you can just right click here and as of now it's it's disabled not an issue but let me go in any of these sensors and scan now so it will take some time few seconds nothing more let's just go to on the servers because it it will pick up one by one all the sensors so nothing to worry let me just do a scan now again You can see all the servers are reloaded okay and it will start fetching the data which is you have already configured and all the sensors we do, we do have so let's wait once uh, these are green so we will do an ip address change 
from the back end I mean uh, release and renew the IP addresses okay so let's wait for a few seconds more and we will yeah you can see that ping HTTP disk free memory memory uh, virtual DNS all servers are up as you can see all the results and within some time the data will be there and uh, for the uptime let's go ahead and see the system is up okay you can see system is okay and uh, go for the live graph as you can see the machine is power on and it's perfectly working as as data has been disconnected and connected so that's why it's showing like this and rest the thing things are fine and let's go to the device and uh, see here all the sensors slowly will come up okay so now what 